flamboyantly charismatic and famously controversial. He was the billionaire businessman from Egypt with a ruthless reputation and an obsession with British royalty. But the connections Mohammed al Fayed craved ended in tragedy. From a humble start, he built businesses and a name for himself, adding the al to Fayed to sound aristocratic. Moving to London, he sought high society and aspirational assets, buying the Ritz in Paris and his crown jewel, Harrods, a British institution. It was a deal so disputed, the government investigated and found he'd lied about his wealth. I own the shop and no one ever will be able to take away from me. Only God, you see? <laughs> he was twice refused British citizenship. In 1997, the year he bought Fulham Football Club, everything changed. His son, Dodi, was in a relationship with Princess Diana when they died in the Paris car crash, being driven at speed and guarded by Mr Al Fayed's team. He long argued their deaths were murder, a plot between Prince Philip and MI6. All my fears, all what I've been trying to fight in the last six years to get the truth with all the unanswered questions. You think is this a right for me as a father who lost a child? You work for MI6, you idiot. But his conspiracies were dismissed during the inquiry and inquests. Mohammed al Fayed believed he was racially vilified by the establishment he'd so revered. Oh, look, a gift bag. Special gifts for the boss lady. Ah, uh, that it gets me anyway. Boss lady seems allergic to me. His stories now retold fictionally to new audiences in The Crown. He'd sold Harrods and Fulham, but significantly kept the Ritz, the place his son and Diana spent their final evening. Laura Bundock, Sky Our News. correspondent Alice Porter who's in our newsroom. Hi there, yes, well, we've got confirmation today that Mohammed Al Fayed was buried at London Central Mosque just by Regent's Park today. Uh, he's a man who we obviously have seen in the newspapers over so many years. In many ways, he was known uh, as, as the billionaire and a very, very wealthy and successful businessman, obviously, in, here in London, the owner of Harrods, uh, Fulham FC as well, as well as internationally, uh, the owner of uh, the Ritz in Paris. But I think in many ways, the way he'll be re remembered for, really, is his, his clashes with the establishment. We saw that in 1994 um, in the cash for questions scandal when Al Fayed named ministers who accepted money for him in return for tabling parliamentary questions on his behalf. But that sort of clash that we saw with the establishment really rocketed when his son Dodi Al Fayed had a relationship with Princess Diana. They were introduced to each other at a polo match which was sponsored by. Harrods, Harrods, the, the department store which Mohammed Al Fayed was the owner of. Now, his son Dodi uh, was with Princess Diana in Paris in 1997 when they had that, that infamous car crash where sadly both died, uh, Dodi Al Fayed dying there at the scene. And it was then uh, after that, in the following year, 1998, that really uh, he, he began uh, attacking aspects of the royal family and indeed the government and uh, people accused him of being a conspiracy theorist because he was adamant that the crash was was caused by uh, MI6 um, and said that this was orchestrated on behalf of the Duke of Edinburgh. Now there were of course inquests that happened after that which, which ruled that out and said that was absolutely not the case but that was something that he had always very much championed and this continued on for quite a long time actually and in, uh, in 2000 and one, uh, he gave an interview with the da Daily Express uh, and said that Princess Diana was indeed pregnant at the time she, she died, uh, with no evidence there has been to, to support that. So he's really much garnished uh, on many headlines over the last few years or so. Uh, obviously, someone who has uh, been very successful in many ways, but in many other ways, uh, it was quite clear that the death of his son uh, in Paris with Princess Diana is something that will very much uh, comes to the forefront, really, when you think of him and his legacy.
Uh, and you were saying, Alice, that, that uh, very much considered uh, a thorn in the side of the establishment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's clearly somebody who gave not only the government uh, a, a difficult time, but the royal family as well. And, of course, I mean, when we think of, of the late Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, two people who were so highly respected, and to have someone uh, who very much... They mixed in those circles together. As I say, they, they were at polo events together. Um, uh, Princess Diana and uh, Prince Charles at the time, they met uh, Mohammed Al-Fayed and his son Dodi at a, a polo match. They, they very much mixed in the same circles and were, were part of that same world. But, unfortunately, those worlds very much clashed and collided after the fatal crash in 1997, where Mohammed Al-Fayed certainly went on the attack and on the offensive against the royal family and made some uh, extraordinary, really, accusations and that they had mas been sort of masterminded the car crash in the third place, of which there has never been any evidence to suggest that. So I think in some ways uh, he cut quite a, a, quite a tragic figure in, in many respects.